Pigeon Pocalypse is a 2-6 player card based party game where players take control of nature's army to get rid of those pesky visitors. Each round is comprised of three phases, draw, assign, and reveal slash attack. During the draw phase, players will replenish any missing visitors into our park. Then players will draw two cards to add to their army. During the assign phase, players will choose their victim and prepare for an attack. One by one, players will put a face down card next to their target until everyone passes. Now it's time to go on to the attack and show those visitors who's boss. Players will simultaneously reveal their cards and the one with the highest attack value wins the day. But watch out for those special abilities such as the tornado which will move one player to another card. For each visitor that you make flee you will put that card in front of you and the first to 15 wins the game. So why should you consider backing Pigeon Pocalypse? Well number one, this is a micro party game for two to six players. Micro meaning that it's small, and that's exactly what this is. It's easy to travel around with because it comes in a nice, small, tight box. And not only that, it's very little table space when you're playing this game. When you're also playing this game, it kind of is reminiscent of the old style card games such as War, Hearts, uh, unlike games that are today which are more about social deduction. So if you like those games that are more of a war style type of game, this is going to be the game for you. And number two is the specialty cards. This is where you get the player interaction because the rest of the game is more dueling to find over points. You're not actually interacting with each other when you're playing these cards. They're just adding up your total attack. But with the specialty cards, this is how you actually affect other players, but not in a harmful way. It's more of a playful like, oh, let me see what you have, or I'm going to draw more cards to, hey, I'm going to actually protect my minions so that way I can keep in my hand for the next turn. But there's one cool card, it's called Tornado, which is where the direct player interaction comes from. And that allows for the card to move a player off of one card onto another, so you can actually kind of deceive people by playing multiple cards and then that tornado one so that they play all of their highest level cards on that point value uh, and then move them all over so it kind of adds a bit of deception actually in this game and that's where it kind of shines well if you like what you see here you can find out more on pitch apocalypse on their facebook page as well as their website or you can check them out on kickstarter on june 5th well my name is marco you guys have a great day and i'll see you next time